Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a cracker of a day here in Wellington, New Zealand, and I wanted to film this outside, but then there's wind and birds, and then it started to become over. So I'm like, I'm in like an indoor outdoor place, so I'm kind of outside. I wanted a different environment. Today we're going to talk about New Zealand accents or like New Zealand slang terms and some of the Kiwi words that are commonly used. Would be really great if you are moving or traveling to New Zealand anytime soon. You're going to want to know these words because you're going to hear them. You're going to be like I don't know what that means and you can only ask that question so many times so here we go let's talk about some of the words that you're gonna need to know if you are visiting or moving to New Zealand you're gonna need to know what they're saying so first word I'm gonna say is a you know so like that was what they say instead of like what or instead of like, not sure what you mean, you know, <laughs> like they go, eh? You, you'll hear it a lot. You'll hear it a lot in a lot of sentences. So be aware of the a. Eh? And then another one is the yeah, nah. Yeah, nah means no, thank you or no. Um, but this is the key one. And I think I've said this in other videos, but the yeah, nah, yeah means yes. <laughs> so keep up. The yeah, nah. You know, so it's real casual in the way that they're talking. Yeah, nah, or yeah, nah, yeah, means yeah, so no, or yeah, so make sure you keep track of your yes, because they can have completely opposite meanings. Another Kiwi word is um, bugger. Oh, just bugger off, or oh, bugger, something happened. So something went wrong. Um, it's kind of like what they use instead of like a swear word, you know, so it's just very common when something goes wrong or they run over, you know, they run over something or they run over like, you know, the curb or something and like, oh, bugger, you know, you'll hear that. Not a word I've heard before I came here. So that's good to know. So um, another very common word that I don't say, I don't think that I say this a lot in my own just conversation, but chur, chur means like, um good awesome like chur like chur bro chur bro is what they're saying um like cheers bro it's like an it's just like a shorter form of saying cheers which you know even in the u.s you don't really say the word cheers <laughs> but i mean i guess a little bit but depending on where you're living in the u.s but chur bro is very very popular so be aware of that i know i've mentioned sweet as before and that is a common one uh which just means like Okay, sounds good, awesome. That's what it means, like sweet ass. And it's just with one S, one S, because the, the pronunciations of New Zealanders is not great. There's a lot of just kind of slurring whole vowel sounds, letters together. And so like, sometimes you're like, wait, what did you just say to me? <laughs> because, you know, but they're just saying sweet ass, one S. Uh, no worries. No worries, mate, is another popular one. We're very common. Um, you know, it's. I like this one a lot. It's like, don't worry about it. Just chill. Just relax. Um, it'll be okay. No worries. You know, like if someone's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm running in. Then you'll get a lot of like, oh, no worries. Another really good one is she'll be right. She'll be right. And this um, can have some good and some bad connotations. So she'll be right, it's like, she'll be all right. It's just like a shorter way of saying it. So this is why sometimes it's hard to tell what they're saying because it's just, she'll be right, where instead of like pronouncing it, she will be all right. But they get the, you know, that'll be used like even if like, you know, something bad happens and they'll say, oh, she'll be right. And kind of like, you know, um, shrugging it off as it'll be okay and you don't need to worry about it which you know sometimes it's an actual big deal and they just that's how they kind of deal with some difficult situations or even if it's not even like really bad oh she'll be right someone hurt themselves or skin their knee or you know and that's appropriate when it's mild but i think it's also used when um something actually bad <laughs> goes wrong and so things get kind of pushed under the rug and you know that's not always good so another thing that i'm going to say um, and I, don't, I wouldn't say that this is New Zealand saying, but be aware that ketchup is tomato sauce. Would you like, or if they just say sauce with it, they're probably meaning tomato sauce. But tomato sauce, they're gonna say tomato sauce is like the common sauce. And they're very, don't be mad, but this is true. They are very uh, brand loyal 
to Wadi's tomato sauce, okay? <laughs> so like if I, I personally, I don't mind tomato sauce, everybody can calm down, but I prefer ketchup still. One's more salty, one's more just tomato flavor. Um, and so, but yeah, people get a little crazy about the Wadi's. So just Wadi's is a brand here in New Zealand, if you don't know, so there you go. Okay, another word that is commonly used is knackered. I'm very knackered. I'm exhausted. Um, so these, I'm just trying to come up with words that I don't think you necessarily will know what they mean. I mean, you can kind of figure it out. Are you moving or traveling to New Zealand? Well, I have a resource for you that is going to be so helpful. I know that journey. I have done it firsthand. I've even done it twice. <laughs> I understand what you're going through. It's so exciting, but so daunting at the same time. You have so many questions and have no idea exactly what to do about different situations, especially if you've never even been to this country. And so this resource is something that I have created. It's called the New Zealand Training Hub. And what it includes is video training on how to set up life here, understanding the culture, understanding how things work here, and so it gives you like that head start. So if you're a planner or someone that like kind of, there's enough new things that it would be nice to just understand how to do things in a new country. So if you are that person, this training hub is for you. Not only does it do all of those videos, but it has a community built in. So when you join the training hub, you get access to the community of people on the same journey as you. These people could be like your best friends and they probably will because all of us, have made a friend when we first moved here that were kind of going through the same thing. And that's who we learned everything from. <laughs> but they also didn't have someone like me helping them out with some video trading. <laughs> and in addition to that, you will have access to me every month. I'll do a live Q and A just to answer any questions that might not get answered in the training hub. You can also request additional trainings. There's really no reason to not check this out. So why does it make sense for an American to be talking about what life is like in New Zealand? Well, let me tell you why. Because a New Zealander knows no different. And so it needs to be someone who has come into the culture and saying, oh, this is different. Now, I don't know everything. I only know my own experience, but I am a really good resource to say, hey, this is how they do this here. This is probably not how they do this in your country, or maybe it's different. And so you really need that outside person that knows the differences. So if you're moving or traveling to New Zealand, this training hub is for you. Check it out. So another thing is a word, instead of saying sweater, they say jumper. Bring your jumper, which always confuses me because like what I'm picturing as a jumper, you know, would be like the shorts with the, the suspenders is just like a sweater or like a, you know, um, something to put on to keep warm. Bring your jumper. It's said a lot. Okay, another word that you need to know is stubbies. Oh, so when you see men wearing really short shorts, they're called stubbies and it's normal and culturally appropriate to wear those short of shorts. I always threaten my kids that I'm going to get them stubbies this year for Christmas. <laughs> Cause like, it's so funny. Cause I think Americans go the opposite direction where they'll wear like shorts, like so long that the boys wear them like past their knees. <laughs> so like to see a, a grown man wearing really short shorts is, is a bit of a shock is a bit off putting to be honest. You're like, Oh, Oh, Oh. And it's just kind of normal work shorts that they wear here in New Zealand. So just be aware. You're going to see some short shorts and it's not going to be on the women. <laughs> Another one you should know that I learned relatively recently was shout a coffee. Shout a coffee means I'm going to buy you a coffee. I remember when I was first said, hey, I'll shout you a coffee. And I'm like, okay, you don't need to scream it at me. No, they're going to buy it for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. If you have any other Kiwi favorite slang terms, um, please put them in the comments because I'm sure, and I'll maybe make it a part two for that. So please do that. Um, definitely check out my website, kiwiamericans.com. If you need any help traveling or moving to New Zealand, I am here for you. I'll see you guys next week.